here we go again. There's no easy game in the Premiership, I tell you. And it's just about to get even harder. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode with Bolton. And uh, yeah, we're picking up old rivalries. We're playing Fulham and then... Yes, the games don't come any harder than the uh, game against Manchester City. Uh, although they are lying in ninth position, so they're not doing too great. They've, they've drawn seven games of the 13. They are way off the pace from Liverpool, who are sitting pretty on top. Three points ahead. Fulham have dropped once again. I think they now have lost two games on the bounce, possibly. They've lost to United and lost to West Ham. And uh, hopefully we'll make that three and uh, lose to us. We are bottom of the table. Four points adrift. A win will uh, drag us a little bit closer up here. But, uh, yeah, we just uh, want to... Um, <laughs> we want some points. That's all we do want. And then we play Man City. Uh, the Fulham game, surprisingly, is the televised game. So the rivalry continues with Fulham. We're not doing too well against them. Just a couple of changes then. Um, mainly to the left-back position. Uh, we've lost Williams and we've lost Colwell. They're going to be back in training tomorrow. Or Brandon Williams is going to be back in a couple of days' time, should I say. But yeah, um, injury's taken its toll a little bit. Gundogan, is, we're going to keep him out. I've uh, lost patience with him uh, and Hadjir as well. Uh, they're not great players. I expected a lot from this guy here, the new Van Dijk. But clearly not. He's worth five, six million. We're going to let him go in January, I think. He's just not... Um, well, he's just not good enough, to be perfectly honest. So we're going to have uh, Drama, Didi, Ogbeta and Laird playing in front of Ribeiro with Blin just playing the half-back position. I'm going to try that position to start off with. McCormick, Robertson and Morley, the dynamic trio. And then we've got Frin and uh, Pietro up front, although I'm possibly contemplating bringing one back here just to have one up front maybe, just so we can fill that gap here which I think we possibly would need, and that would mean bringing in Makati or Levitt or whoever, or Kloss in that position there. So maybe we might do that sort of formation, which I think is this one here. I, I, I think I could go along with that. Fulham, remember, were top of the table. Probably not at the minute. I think they're second or third. They have lost a couple of games. But uh, the but with the side they've got there, I don't understand why. I mean, I suppose he looks okay. He's be, uh, Murich is about the same as Murich, but Murich isn't playing well. He's conceded a lot of goals. Maybe he might be okay next season, but for the time being, he's not going to uh, feature at the moment until he can stop conceding goals, because that is a problem that we have potentially got. We're conceding goals an awful lot of them when uh, Murich is playing. But uh, Chelsea are lying in fifth position. They're still the only team unbeaten in the league. Man City are ninth, of whom we've got next. They've only lost two games, but they've drawn seven. But we're going to concentrate on this game for the time being. Fulham at home, 12 minutes in, and Fulham are racing forward as as they do. As we, we scramble it away somehow, as Pietro comes away with it. Uh, can he run down that? He does run down that line. He's actually skinned him, although he's been caught up. Uh, throwing to us, I think. Somebody have a shot, Robertson. Don't play backwards. Oh, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Throw my hat at them. Okay, Ribeiro saved it. But why would you, in a position like that, do that? Right, we have had six shots each, apparently. Uh, we've only seen the one highlight. Oh, we've got another one here, though. Uh, we do come. We're in the white, don't forget. White. We're in the white. I think when someone needs to tell our players that. <sighs> Ribeiro, it's a white ball like that. That's what you're supposed to be stopping. Actually, it's a yellow ball, not a white ball. Maybe you got confused by it. I mean, I don't understand. I don't understand. I really don't understand and it's proving to be a little bit harder and uh, all of a sudden we're under the cosh a little bit shout at them again show some passion out there it's half time it's too late to show any passion sympathize with the boys I'm not sympathizing I'm gonna get show me something else in the second half I'm absolutely fuming and now I'm gonna shout at them and show some passion do we go attacking at some point and uh, maybe we'll have to put 
attacking midfielder on. Ribeiro makes the save. So we have uh, just over 27,700. So go kick up front. Friends on it. He's not on it. As uh, Laird takes over the mantle. Cross comes in. Hit the bar. Did that hit the bar? Our fours just are not getting the service this season at all. And I think that's what the problem is. I am very tempted to go very narrow. And in fact, I might do that last 10, 15 minutes, maybe. Um, or last 20 minutes. We're not getting anywhere near this game, are we? Our players just aren't doing it. Right, okay, let's uh, switch to this position here. Uh, Robertson can come in. And we're going to bring Makati. He's been wanting a game all this time. So we're going to let him do it. Can we uh, go more attacking now, do I guess? A bit more of a positive approach, I guess. Play that. See what we can do with that formation last 15 minutes. We won't go attacking, I guess. The ball comes in. We do get it away, though. Morley runs with it. Over the top to Fryn. Fryn skins his man. Go on, son. We've got Pietro in the... Just pass it to Pietro, you ball-greedy person. And if you carry on, we're not going to keep you. I wouldn't mind if you were putting the ball in the net, but you're not. We don't even get there. We're bearing down on the goalkeeper. Well, they've done well to get away with that, haven't they, Fulham? I want to go attacking. Wow. I thought for a minute there we uh, messed that up. We can't shout at him anymore. We can go attacking, though. Can we get a, a shot on here at some point? No, nothing at all. So maybe that formation kind of worked last 15, 20 minutes. We did get a few more shots on there, but Fulham just totally outplayed us on 1-0. It's disappointing to lose that, it has to be said. Um, tough result to take. I kind of sympathise, but to be perfectly honest, it was another mistake. And uh, we play Man City next. It's um, Fulham and Grab deserved a win. Well, to be honest, they yeah, totally outplayed us. So we'll send the assistant to that. I really don't know what to do in this situation now. We are really struggling. We're going to go. We're going to use the diamond narrow. I'm going to try that out. Unless we get mid uh, wingers in, then I just don't know what to say or what to do. I don't know how to motivate this side. We've got five days before we play Man City, and uh, Morley reaches. So he's not going to be in for the next game. So that helps. Right, Man City in a couple of days' time. We'll see you guys very, very shortly. Welcome back then to the University of Bolton. Another home game. Surprise defeat maybe against Fulham. Probably not. They were way above us at a different end of the table, in fact. But uh, we do get to play Man City now. A different kettle of fish. But they are mid-table. They've got Harry Kane up front, who's scored eight goals. And uh, Martinez, who scored four goals. They're not doing too great, but they've got Jadon Sancho. Uh, Hudson Odi, Odoi, uh, Ramsey. They've got a pretty decent side. How they're at the bottom or mid table, I've no idea. They've, he's conceded 17 goals. Murich has conceded 19 goals in half the games. That's what I'm worried about. But we're going to adopt this formation. I'm going to try this one instead. We've got no wingers, so we've got nothing else to lose. So we're going to have Muric isn't going to come in goal for this one. We've got Lid, Diddy, Ogbeta and Kawa. We'll welcome back after injury. He's fitting up to play, so we will do. Leo and McCormick on both on yellow cards, but they are both going to play. Leo just a defensive or halfback. Can't remember. I think it's a defensive midfield. I think it is. Not quite sure. McCormick. He's going to be in midfield alongside Robertson. Good uh, cohesion between the pair of them. Klaus is going to come in as attacking midfielder. And then we've got Frin and Pietro up front. It's a sort of a 4-4-2 diamond and formation S, I I guess. I'm not sure how this is going to work. We've used it towards the end of the last game against Fulham. And that's 15, 20 minutes. It didn't really happen. We just appeared to have a, a few more shots than normal, I guess. But this 4-4-2 against uh, Man City, they could be uh, our undoing. I guess we're going to have like a um, full capacity as well. 28,000, we'll just see how many fans. I think they can bring up to 3,000 away fans with them. As uh, Muric makes his first save of the season, I think that is. So well done to him. He didn't concede straight away, so that's something different. Uh, so we have the ball, people. Ogbeta with the ball to Kowal. Now we're making a move into their half. Do we know what to do with it at, in their half? So we spray out wide right to Laird. Laird cuts inside. Kowal on the other side. Flipping it. We're eight, we're eight minutes in with 1-0 up. Oh, my word. Um, 
Hold the phone, everybody. Let's go all defensive. I mean, that is the first attack we've had. And we're 1-0 one nil, one nil up. It's a good ball from uh, Laird over to Colwell, who just uh, says, you know what, I'm going to have a pop at here. So the wing-backs on fire. Wow. Um, Colwell with an 8 for scoring a goal. Laird with a 6.9, even though he got the assist. But let's see if we can uh, come away with a support prize of victory here that would that would really be a surprise as uh, man city come forward with sancho we're expecting him to uh score straight away though to be fair to gnarly as we get the ball away again friend this time on the ball we got uh pietro in the middle he plays it into it anybody seeing this we're two nil up half an hour gone pietro scores friend with the assist friend with the assist and uh, what a ball that was plays it in Pietro still had a lot of work to do but who is that in the middle there um, yeah him he um, he was half asleep there we're three for three at the moment let's not concede a goal John Stones second goal of the season we not to concede a goal straight away and what do we do so Man City just turn it on just like that. The goalkeeper nowhere. Murich, that's his 20th goal is conceded this season. And we play him on. I'm not happy. But see if we can hold on. I mean, this will be a fantastic result. I'm not going to lie. Murich caught it. I'm, uh, I'm dumbfounded by Murich. We've only had three shots on goal, three on target. But that's a good throw out to Laird down the line. He forgets it then. Oh dear. Come oh, good header there. Class gets taken out. Referee, are you watching this game? Man City come forward again. This time with Ramsey. Right hand side. Cross comes in. Uh, we do get it away again. Class pumps it up. Frin on the board. He's, look at him sprint. Now, I have taken off him shoot less often. So, what does he do? He shoots. Excellent effort, guys. Uh, that's the first time I'm actually going to say excellent effort and actually mean it. Now, I'm more tempted to drop another the attacking midfielder back a bit, but I'm not going to. I don't want to. I want to just keep this momentum going. If they can play this formation, that would be quite good. But Adobe comes... Oh, for goodness sake. It's not Adobe. It's Ado Adoye. Um, Kane with a penalty... <sighs> I feel like we've been robbed again. It's a very good save. I mean, how did you manage to hit it there? Why could you not push it out that side? Demand more. The fact that we were tuning it up is beside the point. Murich is a 7.1. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to just take out one more player. Katty in here. Is he on the bench? He is. I'm going to use him. I'm going to use Makati. He wants to be used. Wait, do we go attacking? A shadow striker. Let's use him as a shadow striker. And uh, McCormick and Robertson, they're playing well in the middle, so I want to leave that as it is. Leo, can we bring... We're going to bring in Blin for this one. Uh, Diddy's on a yellow card, but we'll keep an eye on him. Just them two changes. Nothing too drastic. As uh, we have the ball in our own half, which is r rather worrying, which probably means we'll boot it. Straight to their player, or we we'll lose possession somewhere, or we just play up front. Friends running on goal, back heel somewhere along the line. There's another back heel, and they clear it as Sancho runs off with it. There's two people in the middle as uh, the final attire. Oh, it's a good stop. So, another did who played well. Keep it in, keep it in. Nice. Don't what are you doing? Okay, we'll loft it up. Oh, this is better. Through ball, Colwell. I thought that was the winner. I thought that was the winner. They Man City bring 2,800 with them, which isn't too bad. Let's Olmo. Can we get a good catch? Murich is starting to come good. Is it only you like to play against big teams? Is this what it is? 43% possession we have, which isn't great. But Makati comes forward. He's coming forward. I'm not sure what that was, though, to be honest. As uh, four minutes remain of added time. I'm going to leave it as it is. We're still in a spot of bother at the bottom. But we've gone and done the impossible. Tune it up. We, yes, we caved. We gave away a stupid penalty. But 
a 2-2 result against uh, Manchester City. I mean, how can we do that and then lose to Fulham? Or lose to Fulham and then do this? I don't understand. The formation was great. It worked pretty well. We got our to first time we actually saw our two fours actually playing well. And Liverpool are top of the table. Fulham did not play, I don't think. Or they did, I didn't see them. I can't see them. Leeds lost 3 0, so they're losing games, but uh, we're still three points behind. A win would see us probably above them, but we do need to start winning because, uh, yeah, seven points in, out of 45, it's not great, is it? Right, uh, we've got Wolves away coming up next. It's not too bad. We do stop the rot, though. Two defeats on the bounce. And we're back into uh, not losing again. Wolves and Southampton coming up in the next episode. Games you would expect us to win. Or want us to win. Or we will quite happily win. Southampton did take a beating quite recently as well. So, And uh, for the, those that want to know as well. The FA Cup we have been drawn against... Swansea so yeah we'll probably look forward to getting beat by Swansea in that game as well away from home no less as well money wise though uh, look at that we're getting money left right and centre here and I don't understand why we haven't got many expenses here I don't understand I just don't understand but 6 million hopefully they might give us some budget for the uh, transfer window in January which is going to come in a month's time believe it or not Let's just have a quick look before we go. Anything else? And they will send an assistant to that one. Barnet Sparkles in the under-23. See, they, they can win games. Colwell on form. Well, for that goal, he did well. Coming back from injury. And the draw leaves Bolson still chasing first win in seven. So seven games now without a win. But we have got a couple of draws in there. So we are... Well, but not three pointers. But uh, it's three points in draws though, I guess. So if you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. Until next time, guys. Uh, hopefully we might get a win in the league. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you.